Hello everyone, my name is Anna. In this channel, I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. Happy holidays everyone and happy new year. It is the end of December. It will be a new year in a day or two. So happy new year to everyone. And I would like to show you guys today my Thanksgiving cactus which is blooming around Christmas time. <laughs> so this is my Slumbergira truncata or more commonly known as the Thanksgiving cactus which is in flower explosion just in time for a new year. I call this cactus my diva cactus because this is the hardest one for me to take care of. Not because this plant is generally difficult to grow, but because of my environment. So this cactus is the one that is most challenging for me among all my cacti. I live in a desert where we get extreme temperatures and we usually have very low humidity like 40% and below all year round. But this cactus, this is a type of a jungle cactus. So that means it likes more of a tropical environment where the temperatures are milder, um, air humidity is higher, and the sun is not scorching hot and bright as what we have here in the desert. So taking care of a jungle cactus in a desert is very difficult for me. In fact, I have given up on all my other epiphytic or jungle cacti so they grow way too big for me to be moving them in and out of the house uh, depending on the weather or the season. However, I was able to keep this one alive because um, this one grows more compact, so smaller than the rest. So this one I am able to move it um, in and out of the house and keep it growing also indoors at certain time of the year. So this is the only jungle cactus that I have surviving. Oh, actually I have another one. Um, it's a Ripsalis, but that one is struggling. <laughs> so this one is the one that has uh, thrived and flowered very well for me. This is more commonly sold in stores here in the U.S. under the generic name Holiday Cacti. But there are actually three different types of Holiday Cacti. And they are all called Holiday Cacti because their blooming time coincides with a certain holiday. So um, there is a Easter Cactus and then this one is a Thanksgiving Cactus and then there's another one called Christmas Cactus. So they all look very similar but the shape of the leaves and also the flowers will um, make the distinction. So this one is a Thanksgiving cactus. The leaves of a Thanksgiving cactus has more pointed edges. See, so they look like um, crab, crab claws. Actually, sometimes this is called or sold under the name crab claw cactus because of the way the leaves are shaped. And then the Easter cactus and the Christmas cactus has more scalloped edges, more rounded edges, and but their flower is also different. So the Easter cactus has more upright and star-like flowers, but the Thanksgiving and the Christmas cactus, they are like hanging flowers like this one. So they droop and they hang. I don't have those two types of cacti, at least not anymore, <laughs> because I used to have them, but they turned out to be more diva than this one. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you examples of the other two types of holiday cacti in this video. I actually have three plants in this pot. So um, I it came up with two different types of uh, color of flowers so I have one here that is more pink in color and then there's another one here that's more peach peach color of uh, cactus so like I said there's three in here 
one plant is my original one the one that i bought and then the second one is the one that was given to me by my aunt from uh, california and then the third one is the one that was sent to me by dads of cacti mania unfortunately i couldn't tell anymore which is which since i potted them up all together okay but yeah i have two colors of flowers that came up here but they are all thanksgiving cactus or slumbergera truncata like i said this is my diva cactus because uh, this is the first time that it produced this much flowers for me it took me years to figure out how to keep this one alive and happy but i think now i am finally getting it <laughs> so what did i do different to this cactus this past year that finally made it thrive and flower this much um the first thing that i did is put them all together in one pot so i told you there's three types of uh plants in here i used to have them in three different pots but i learned that this cactus actually likes to be a little root bound that is why i decided to pot them up all together in this um large pot and um also another thing or the second thing that i also changed is the soil mix that i use so i added more organic component um, to the soil for the drainage instead of using big lava rocks this time i used big chunks of orchid barks instead so there are still small pieces of pumice in the soil but um, not too much so aside from small pieces of pumice i used big chunks of um, orchid barks to help improve air circulation and drainage in the roots number three is i moved this pot indoors by my kitchen window as soon as our temperature here went above 95 degrees fahrenheit or 35 degrees celsius i i used to keep this outdoor all year under bright shade but our summer here is just too hot and too dry that it struggled during the summer season even though i kept it under bright shade so this year it spent summer indoors and i only moved it out of the house again um once our temperature went down to the high 80s which was already in the fall season i let it stay outdoors um, for as long as i can before it got freezing cold so the drop in the temperatures and also the shorter days and the longer nights will trigger this cactus to produce the buds i only moved it inside my garage when our night temperatures started dropping below 40 degrees fahrenheit or 4.4 degrees celsius and at that time small buds were already started to form at the tips of this cactus so i was worried and i thought it was going to drop its buds because this cactus is notorious for pouting whenever you suddenly change its environment so if it's um, in bud it will drop its buds or it can also drop its segments if you suddenly change the environment that it is in so i thought it was going to drop its buds but fortunately the buds continued to develop i had a grow light on it although it was far from the grow light so it was getting indirect lighting from my grow lights and then the temperature in my garage was constant between 50 to 60 degrees fahrenheit fortunately the bud stayed on and now they have finally opened <laughs> okay what else oh i would also miss the, this cactus every now and then i would miss um, the cactus and also the top of the soil just to keep the humidity around it higher okay so i think that's about it in terms of fertilizing i did not do anything different i fertilized it at the same time i fertilized my desert cacti which was uh, once towards the end of winter and twice um, around springtime and then i water this whenever the soil is a little bit dry 
but not bone dry since this is a jungle type of cactus it doesn't like to be bone dry for too long so as long as the soil is a little bit dry although it's tricky it's a little bit tricky because this is in a glazed pot so it's hard to tell if the soil is already dry so what i would do is i would feel the segments so whenever they feel thin like they do now <laughs> that tells me that it needs uh, watering so aside from the soil i also try to feel the segments when they're thin that tells me that they need a good soaking in terms of propagating this cactus i made a video on how i propagate this it was an experiment video so i did it in like several ways of uh, rooting this cactus if you haven't seen that video you will see a link up on the screen and also below this video so that is it for today let me know guys uh what you think do you have your own holiday cactus if yes which one and um do you have any tips for me any more tips for me on how to keep this alive and thriving especially the easter cactus and the christmas cactus because those i haven't had any good luck so this one is the thanksgiving cactus and fortunately at at least for this one i think i know now how to best keep it alive under my environment all right guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants and i would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for the friendship and for the support in this channel thank you guys everyone happy new year to all of you and cheers to 2023 bye guys